even though I'm super satisfied with the progress that we are having on these shelves, you know, with building all the new enclosures here and also here and here that are empty and ready for the rehouses, uh, these are the husbands from last video. I'm glad that you enjoyed that video. Also, I have far more that are ready to go on this shelf, and also I have far new five new ones that I made uh, for this shelf. And these four are in the production. I'm siliconing the the glass sides, and I'm also currently printing the 3D parts, um, the parts that I'm 3D printing, this plastic part. So that is all good, but we are forgetting about one important member of the Dark Den family, and that is <laughs> this guy, Felix, you know. Um, I said that my intentions are to redesign this enclosure and to make it a bit better, a bit prettier and a bit more compact. I won't be reducing the amount of climbing area, of course, but I will be reducing the, the size of the, the footprint of the entire enclosure because you see all of this is just uh, empty space that is not really needed for Felix. So therefore, uh, this is the idea. I will move all this stuff in one single bucket and that is this thing. And then, once everything inside of that, I'm going to cover it with some black stuff. But the covering part of this will not be done in this video because I still need to figure out how exactly I will do that. But I have a couple of ideas, but I need to prepare all the materials and everything. But in the meantime, we can set this up to be a actually usable enclosure. And you see, chaflera, is that the English word? We also call it chaflera, and I think that that's the English word. But I received from a friend of mine, I received this huge plant, and that will be the main bottom bottom plant on this enclosure, in this enclosure. We are unfortunately going to remove this Benjamin 3 from the enclosure because apparently uh, this plant is not really compatible with Schaeflera and also with this one, even though I'm not really sure how this one is called. Since I plan to put them all in this one big bucket, apparently uh, they need a bit different substrate. They, their dirt needs to be a bit different than the one for Schaeflera, so therefore uh, we will be moving this guy, he will be going uh, up in the house. So yeah, that is the part of a plan. I also have uh, other materials right here, because we are going to build a drainage layer. And for that I will of course use the clay balls that I always use. They will be going on the bottom part of the bucket. And I also plan to drill holes on the side of the back bucket, because naturally there aren't any holes down here. But if I water too much, then the water will build up in here and it got no place to go, so therefore the substrate would get soggy. Therefore, I want to make holes on the sides. The reason why I want to do them on the sides and not on the bottom, that way the excess water can still evaporate, but if there is too much water, it will just flow outside and I will be able to scoop it out. And I could also put a tube inside and suck water or whatever. It will be far better than just having holes on the bottom and having water going outside whenever. So that will go on the bottom, then we will separate the substrate with the classic mesh and then in this substrate, I'm going to mix in this thing. You see, that is like some something like a styrofoam, and that prevents dirt, the substrate, from getting compact, you know, like hard. It should always remain loose and let air and water through easily. That is the idea. So we are going to mix that inside of this. And that is basically it. I put this dried up tree in the middle, and then plant plants around it. And that's all. We will also need to uh, rearrange the lights, but that greatly depends on how we will arrange stuff inside of the bucket, inside of the enclosure. So first thing that we will do, I will need to get everything outside of Felix's enclosure. And that should be relatively easy, I think. Uh, I will take the Benjamin outside and put Felix on top of that, so he can hang out while I manage everything inside. So I take this. And this one, oh, Felix, you're actually on top of that. Let me move you a bit. You go here. And now, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so now you see, I drilled the holes on the random location on this side and also on the other side. 
and now it is time to put this dried up wood inside but what i want to do i actually want to cut this like here this and this or maybe yeah yeah those two also i want to reduce the height that he can reach but instead i want to reduce the surface area i mean the area around the perimeter that he can uh, cross and that he can climb so i will add more branches that are uh, going across and all over the place but the height will be reduced that is because i don't want him to be able to reach this and also i wanted to make it a bit safer because i spotted that sometimes he comes here and then reaches for the ceiling and he is really extending like really far away and i it worries me that as he is getting older that maybe he will become a bit weaker and then he will fall from that height so I want to prevent that and it won't matter anyway he will still have enough room to move around so let me grab a jigsaw and do that okay I know that I said jigsaw and this is not a jigsaw but it was easier for me to reach it and also it will get the job done that's one two and now this big bad boy there we go now we can put that inside Oh no, problem, problem. This bottom board is actually too big and it won't fit. So it looks like I will actually need to take out a jigsaw. That is karma, I guess. Oof, it still does not fit. I will also need to cut other edges. Oh no, 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 no. Careful, careful. There, finally. Okay, now. How do I want to arrange this? I'll actually move this. Also, I need to think uh, where I want to put this plant and this plant, because I want to have this one on front, of course, and this one somewhere in the back, like it used to be. So what would be the best solution? And in the same time, I should think about where the heat spot will be and also, hmm. I actually want this on front. So he will be hanging here most of the time. But then this would kind of be in the way when walking around. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. And now looking at it, to be honest, I think that this will be a tight fit to fit this here. It will probably go somewhere. I will need to squeeze it like here and pull the branches. Oof, this will be actually a really challenging thing to do. Let me think. I think that this is it, but even though I'm not 100% sure, but regardless, we are going to proceed. So you know what now needs to be done. The drainage layer, yeah, that is that stuff. this is it now to set up the the mesh that will separate the substrate from the drainage layer but i actually forgot that in the middle i will have this this wood so that will be a bit trickier so i will need to cut around and stuff you know now i'm adding just a little bit of substrate to make sure that the mesh is holding in place before I start dumping the, the real one. Okay, so far so good. Now we can add the real substrate because this was just the mixture that I'm using in the, all the terrariums, with the, you know, with the padding soil, cocoa fiber and peat moss. But I'm not sure if that is ideal for these plants. So therefore I only use it on, on the bottom for securing the mesh. I will also use this bucket to mix the substrate with this thing because mixing inside of that large bucket i don't think that it will work because i think that i will just move the stuff around too much anyhow that is one one big bag of substrate too much First batch is ready. Now to gently dump it inside. Good, good, good. I like it so far. Here comes the second batch. And after that, I think that I can start planting the plants. 
Yeah, definitely. I'm going to start with this one because that will be far easier than this one. And I'm pretty sure that once I plant this one, uh, I won't be able to fit anything else anymore. So that's why this one goes first. And <laughs> it definitely needs to be arranged like here. Yeah, I will plant it right there and arrange everything in that direction. This will be a pretty messy job because I'm going to remove the, the planting thingy, but I will move it outside. When you think about it, it is such a large plant in such a tiny pot. Incredible. I need to release all the roots. And actually look what is inside. The cork bark husks. It also seems like this is mostly cocoa fiber. Yeah, mostly cocoa fiber. Interesting. Okay, I think I freed roots a bit. Hopefully I didn't destroy them too much. And now to get it inside. It looks like a friend of mine is calling me to go skate. I don't have time for that. Or actually if I can fit it. Sorry plant. This is the less torture, I promise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Looking good so far. But now the pain comes because we need to do the same thing with the other plant. <laughs> and that won't be easy. Okay. Step one complete. <laughs> I should try to remove as much dirt as I can to make it as light as possible. Oof, but roots are tangled really, really good. Okay, I'm able to hold it with one hand, kind of one hand, which means that it should be manageable now. Let's do this. What I want is for it to go right here. Yes, exactly. How does that look? Pretty good, right? But geez, this plant is huge. This looks insane, although this area is fairly open, right? Maybe I should have turned this plant like here. Hmm. Let me figure it out a bit more. Okay, I think that I'm done. I just moved this branch here and secure it, you see? So now it is kind of filling up this empty space. But this is it, voila, what do you say? And I know that this area is a bit bare, but I will put some plant that likes shade over there, so that will fill it up. But overall, other things, it looks super lively here. <laughs> Crazy, I'm loving it. And of course, it will take a while for all the leaves to turn uh, towards the light, so I assume that these leaves will turn up and also these will turn up depending on where I will put this strong Arcadia LED light. I also have another one and I think that I will put both because I think for this plant I need a bit more. So I'll put one like, like here and move this like here so it is shining like, like this, you know. <laughs> now we also need to move all the stuff from over there because I will put the UVB right here so it will shine this area you see because i assume that this will be the best for felix and also i will put the heat spot right here so this will be the warmest area of the enclosure and i want him to spend most of the time right here to be there and expect roaches uh felix do you want to visit your new enclosure now i mean it is almost like your old one but it is slightly improved and it looks slightly more alive there you go now yeah, it is a bit different huh what did he say? <laughs> and he looks so tiny now with all the green stuff around him. I'm loving it. I'm loving it for sure. Now, Felix, uh, do you want some roach for your patience? Because he was a good boy and he didn't try to leave this plant, which is really nice. Thank you, Felix. I already prepared them right here. Felix, were you a good boy? Tell me. Here is a... Re I mean, show your tongue. Show the improvement, please, Felix. You are not even trying, man. Come on. Flick that tongue. Seriously. That is everything that you will do for us today. Oh, you don't deserve it now. But okay, he needs to eat. But he can uh, extend his tongue like to this length sometimes. Not always, as you can see. Now we will do one quick time jump because I noticed that this microphone was running low on, on the battery and I didn't want to lose the audio on the footage. Anyhow, as you can see, in the meantime, I cleaned the entire room. It is far prettier now, right? 
and also I installed these wooden bridges that are connecting this to this and also this one that is connecting this to this. So as I said, Felix will moving across the entire enclosure far easier. Yeah, and what is really interesting, while I was doing all of that, while I was cleaning the entire room, while I was setting up that, he didn't move at all. He is sitting here from the moment I put him there. So you can see that he is kind of being cautious because he can see that something is different. The environment is completely different and I guess he wants to feel safe before he starts to roam around. Is that right, Felix? I guess so. Uh, do you want another roach? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Coming right up. Look, Felix, come down. Come on, move a bit. Hung action, maybe? Um. <laughs> oh, really? So sad. Such a sad tongue action. No. But regardless, with all of that being said, it is not the end of the video because we still need to fix the light fixtures over there. We need to move them around and rearrange them. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, I think I have it. Of course, I will move the cables around, but firstly, I want to finish this video. As you see now, this is the warm spot and also mostly exposed by the UVB. Uh, I will set up the second UVB depending on where Felix will be spending uh, other time. I will see how he will use the, his enclosure and then I will make a decision. But for now, it will be all right. I will need to cut this cable like completely and make it only like this long because it needs to go from here to here so i don't need cable of this length anyhow um yeah this is it the first stage of this build is complete but it is like 90 percent usable now it will be a bit better later but it will be mostly uh, cosmetical beauty and if you're wondering what is that sound that is constantly going like tump 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 i'm not sure if you can hear it but that is eight just walking around and knocking with his shell on the edge of the enclosure. <laughs> He's probably hungry, yeah. Anyhow, let's finish this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe up on Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.